Okay, so the next presentation will be given by um, Makiko Hayashi, and she is from Tokyo University. And the title of the presentation is Breaking the Wall of Difficulty in Cancer Therapy. Hello, everyone. Let me ask one question to you. Have you ever lost your family or close friends by cancer? I lost my grandparents, and I have a friend who lost her younger brother with only 19 years old by cancer. Cancer is the top cause of death in Japan, and the mortality rate is still increasing. But fortunately, as modern medicine is so advanced, most cancer is treatable with radiation, anti-cancer drugs, and surgery. However, repeated treatment often causes malignant cancer. Malignancy is the resistance to therapy, and we have no choice but to treat malignant cancer with higher dose of drugs or radiation, but we, which causes severe side effects. Recently, a new drug about cancer immune therapy was established, but it cost extremely high. It cost $175,000 a year. Can you pay for it? I can't. So I aimed to break these walls, cancer malignancy and high cost So I focused on the molecular biological differences between treatable cancer and malignant cancer, and we targeted the NR2 protein. It originally works as a cytoprotective factor against um, stressors or toxins, but in malignant cancer, NRF2 is hyperactivated and it produces cancer malignancy. So I hypothesized, if we can reduce NRF2 protein, can we make malignant cancer treatable again? So we established a screening system and searched for NLF2 inhibitor, and we found it. It's halogenol, and this chemical is obtained from a natural flower. And fortunately, this drug is already used as an anti-malarian drug, so it, cost doesn't, it doesn't cost so, so much high. It's really helpful for patients. Now the NRF2 inhibitor is really innovative for its, for its approach. It resensitizes malignant cancer to conventional treatment. And also, NRF2 hyperactivated cancer is 20% overall, so it could be available for various cancer types. I'm highly motivated to deliver NRF2 inhibitor from the bench in the lab to the bed in the hospital. Thank you.